Using foil and screen printing can produce some really awesome effects. <sighs> Using foil and screen printing without the need, without needing, uh, Okay. Real casual. Okay. Okay. I know, I'm trying to be casual, man. I'm just Using foil and screen printing can produce some really awesome effects without the need of using specialty inks. This can make any design have a reflective property that makes it pop. A couple of years ago, I did a video about printing a film. In that video, I used the foil adhesive, but I've heard that you can use a stretch ink to actually get the same result or a similar result. So I wanted to throw it on press here today and just see what happens. Stretch ink works as a foil adhesive because it's stickier than standard Plastel ink. It's not quite as sticky as a true foil adhesive, but it should do the trick. All right, so I'm gonna take the FN stretch ink. Using this 156 mesh screen, I'm gonna do a print flash print of my design. I'm gonna take the shirt off, run it through the dryer to cure it, and then we're gonna run over to the heat press, put the foil on top, press it, and voila, see what happens. Now that the stretch ink is cured, let's heat press the foil. We're gonna lay the shirt on the heat press with the ink side up. We're gonna take the foil with the color facing up, put a Teflon sheet over that, and then we're gonna heat press it with medium pressure at 335 degrees for about 15 seconds. Before going to peel off the foil, you want to make sure that the print is cooled off. Trying to peel the foil when it's still hot is likely to damage or lose uh, detail around the edges of the print itself. So what I like to do is a little trick taking a shirt and actually rubbing it all over the print to help carry away that heat. Give it a good grip, right, and you rip it off. It did a pretty great job and we can see that it removed almost all of the foil in the areas intended. Uh, there are a few spots you can see, you know, if you look closely, where it didn't pick up some dots here and there, and that's to be expected. That's going to happen pretty much any time you do foil. So, uh, yeah, the goal is to make sure that you are keeping clean edges, you know, when you pull it off. The print's nice and cool, and you get a good result. Awesome. So having the opportunity to do a handful of tests today, uh, I got to use three different color foils, and my observations are that, one, the foils uh, behave differently depending on which one I was using. The silver was actually really, really hard to pull off. I wasn't prepared for that. I didn't get a good enough grip. So it left me with a subpar end result. Uh, I found that the other two were quite easy to pull off. Got a very smooth finish. There's a little bit of texture found in the final result, but I think that that's just a foil thing, period. Overall, I think that this would be an awesome application for anything fun, anything different, anything that you, know, you wanna do that has some, some pop to it. Keep in mind there are alternative ways to do this as well. Uh, one thing that I do want to share with you, it's a tip that we were prepared to do, but we didn't end up needing it, is actually using a similar colored underbase ink as what the, the color foil that you're going to use. Uh, reason that you wa might want to do that is if you are peeling off the foil and some of it doesn't adhere, that matching color helps kind of uh, you know blend that blemish and imperfection. So another thing that you can do as well is actually tint the FN stretch with a similar colored Plastisol. So that way, again, it's gonna, it's gonna behave in a similar fashion. But keep in mind, if you end up tinting the FN stretch with a similar colored Plastisol ink, you are gonna lose a little bit of that adhesion. Overall, while this was never the intended use for FN stretch, it certainly seems to work pretty well. Thanks to Sanmar for providing the t-shirts that we got to print on today. So yeah, um, if you found this video helpful, educational, funny, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.